For Holy Week this year, let's explore The Women of Easter by Liz Curtis Higgs. In this book, Liz explores Mary of Bethany, Mary of Nazareth, and Mary Magdalene. We'll start today with the story of Mary of Bethany. Mary of Bethany is the sister to Mar Martha and Lazarus. And in this story, we think about her as the listener, her as the disciple, faithful follower. She's the sister that is sitting at the teacher's feet. Mary is the one that uh, is the one that shares her love with the Lord. And through her story, we learn that we also want to give and love like Mary. Liz uh, includes the stories of Lazarus, his death, and how Jesus resurrects him four days after he dies. And we also have the story of Mary when she anoints Jesus' feet with oil, the very expensive oil. It's 12 ounces, actually, the size of a modern-day soda can, uh, the oil called spikenard. Uh, and it is a very special story where she, again, gives extravagantly and um and generously uh, sharing love with God at a time whenever he is preparing for his death. Uh, it is only six days after she anoints his feet with oil that he does go to the cross. So we're thankful for the story of Mary, and it's through her story, learn from Mary again to love. And so as we work today uh, in moving and breathing and um, stretching and strengthening and balancing and breathing, let's remember Mary and help us to remember to love like her and to give like her. To give extravagantly, love abundantly, um, and to sit at the Lord's uh, feet. So grab a chair and let's take some deep breaths as I tell you a little bit about the oil nard. That is uh, Mary, the one Mary shares with Jesus. Um, the oil is spelled Spikenard, S-P-I-K-E-N-A-R-D. And it's an oil that you'll see shared in um, scripture several times. It comes from the plant roots uh, and it has many ancient uses, including perfumes, medicines, skin tonic, incense, mood enhancer, reduce, uh, an anxiety reducer, it uh, heals scar tissue. It's one of the last oils, as we just learned, to be received by Jesus before being arrested and going to the cross. And it perhaps helped him to prepare for his ordeal. It is applied as a precious ointment in combination with myrrh. In modern day uses, it can be shared for allergies, migraines, nausea, cardiovascular support, tachycardia, relaxing, soothing and calming and emotionally calming uh, effects. It is also used to elevate mood. It's applied to the tummy, to the abdomen. Um, it can be inhaled. Uh, it also can be applied to the feet or the head. So let's practice the Lord's Prayer today as we work through this thought of Mary of Bethany and how to live and to uh, give generously to the Lord. So sit up nice and tall in your chair and we'll begin by putting the hands together, thumbs to the heart, and we'll take a big breath in. And so as we breathe in, we will pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Take your head, yes or no, here, so that you can make sure you're not holding any tension in the neck. Give us this day our daily bread. And for the daily bread, let's stretch like a banana. All right, do one half of the banana and then eat the other half of the banana. Now work the twist for the part of the prayer that is forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation. And there you want to stretch forward into your cow. But deliver us from evil, find your cat. For thine is the kingdom, reverse the swan dive, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So now get ready to relax and to rest. You can sit comfortably in your chair, or you might want to find your way to the mat, and then use the chair as a way to elevate your legs in a modified legs up the wall move. And as you rest, we think about the women of Easter, how these women were joyful and hopeful, and these were the women that were there for Jesus as he walked those last days. These are the women that were there and were those discoverers of the resurrection. These are the women who we want to emulate and we want to, uh, to use their examples to help us to be stronger and to be uh, more courageous, and to be the followers of Christ that he would need us to be. We'll close with the hymn Blessed Assurance by Franny Crosby, written in 1873. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior and happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, Looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, and this is my song. Praise ye my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praise ye my Savior all the day long. Take as long to rest as you need today. Thank you for looking into the Women of Easter with me. I'm sorry we can't be together doing it, but hopefully this virtual opportunity will be a way to we can remember it and celebrate maybe even year after year. Next up, we'll talk about Mary of Nazareth. So tune in tomorrow for another adventure with the Women of Easter. Namaste, yogis.